Hi, I'm Nick Overfield. I'm a graduate teaching assistant for Introduction to Computer Science at the University of Tennessee. I'm a member of the STARS Student Alliance, and this is uh, our video tutorial session. Uh, our first tutorial is Introduction to VI. Our webpage is utkstars.org, uh, and we will hopefully be posting uh, videos on a regular basis. These are meant to be uh, interactive video tutorials. Uh, not only can you download all of the examples from uh, this tutorial on the website, uh, in theory there's a link right next to this video. Um, you can also uh, post replies, ask us questions, those sorts of things, and we will uh, respond to those in turn. All right. So, first thing, is VI. What is VI? VI is a text-based editing uh, program. It's primarily used with uh, Linux operating systems like the ones we have here in the lab. Uh, and the main thing to start with is just VI and the file name. So if you go and open demo1.cpp with VI, just VI demo1.cpp, you'll see that. All right. So this is the first demo. The first thing you'll notice is that it's just basically C++. Uh, and this is just sort of your basic walkthrough of some of the normal things in VI. Uh, the first thing to make note of is how to edit things in VI. First, you have to hit I to enter what's called insert mode. You can see right down there it says insert, anything that now I can go and I can type things. Like that. And then I can hit escape. And you can see that I that insert goes away, and now I can uh, type commands in. So now one of the ways you've got is you've got these files, and you want to you know save what you've done. That's first you have to be out of insert mode, so you hit escape to make sure you're not in insert mode. And it's just you can see that it's uh, colon w to write. You can also save with different file names. I'm going to call this file file name. It's going to save it as file name, so you can get that argument. And finally, you can also uh, write and quit to go out to the terminal. And you can see that file name now exists because I saved it as that, and that's just the same file again. Okay, so all VI commands, be they copy and replace, be they uh, redos and undos, or be they uh, saving, editing, whatever, uh, they are all of either one of two forms. They're either single keys or control key combinations, uh, so that they can be done quickly and easily. Or they're of the form uh, command address command options, which is basically a a address corresponds to the lines of effect that your program will have. For example, you could say I want this to affect lines 30 through 30, 30 through 33, and then you've got that, and then you've got whatever your command is. And then you've got any options or flags the command may have. Uh, and we'll get into a lot of those commands, especially the ones that I think are the most useful uh, in a moment. For example,